simply supported beam or supported by a spring. It shows the magnitudes of oscillations due to free and forced vibrations in simple structures and how damping affects their vibrations. Students may vibrate the systems manually. They may also force the vibrations using a high quality variable speed servo motor, driving a rotating offset mass forming an exciter. The VDAS Mark II software includes functions to display live plots of first and second derivatives to show velocity and acceleration waveforms based on the displacement signal. A digital display shows the motor speeds in units of frequency in hertz, radians per second and revolutions per minute. The TM1016 is manufactured in line with the latest European safety standards. The unit includes a dashpot damper for use with a non-toxic fluid of stable viscosity. The TM1016 allows students to use Rayleigh's approximation to predict vibration frequency and also to find the beam-only frequency using Dunkley's method. Further experiments can be conducted on the TM1016. Additional mass can be added to the beam. An undamped vibration absorber is also included with the unit. This demonstrates the typical behaviour of a two degree of freedom system. Students learn how to tune the vibration absorber to eliminate the oscillations of the main beam. Acceleration is measured with the integral accelerometer. A non-contacting sensor measures beam displacement. The sensor has no physical contact with the oscillating system, so it has no damping effect. Welcome to my YouTube channel Kadam Academy. Dear friend, under the single degree of freedom, we have covered the undamped damp force vibration. And in this mechanical vibration series, today we are going to study this example on the force damp vibration. Under this force damp vibration, I will read the nickel. When a free vibration test is run on the following system. This is the system. The ratio of the amplitudes on the successive cycles is 2.5 to 1. Determine the response of the machine due to rotating unbalance. See here is the rotating unbalance. We are going to study of magnitude 0.25 kg meter. This is rotating mass with the, with the distance. So this due to this what will happen? Unbalance in the magnitude. That is 0.25 kg meter. When the machine operates at 2000 rpm revolution per minute and damping is assumed to be viscous. So friend, what will happen here? What is the given here? The all when read it. And value of E also given. Elasticity also given. The 4.5 10 raised to minus 6 m raised to 4. So value of M 125 it is given in the, this figure at a distance of 80 cm. Friend, what will happen? Here what we have to do? We have to find out the response of the machine due to the rotating unbalance. That means what we have to find out? We have to find out the X. X for this due to this machine. Here is the combination of these two. The viscous we have to assume viscous damping as a cantilevered beam. So cantilevered beam as a viscous damping we have to assume and we have to solve it for the that numerical. So I will show you as uh, this this is the transfer vibration is the load P and uh, due to the rotating force okay this that P about is the I will calculate C R what is the given data as there is the harmonic force it will rotate from this cycle this is the amplitude x1 x2 the ratio is given to us what is that ratio the x1 by x2 2.5 to 1 2.5 to 1 it is given in the numerical okay so 2.5 to 1 so this ratio is 2.5 and this moe is given to us moe mo is the 0.25 kg meter omega we have to find out the frequency due to this force applied on this system so what is the frequency by using this revolution per minute 2000 into 2 pi by 60 you can calculate 209.44 radian per second 
and this value of e i and m also given in the numerical so what is the next step so what we have to find out we have to find out the response in the system response of machine what response of machine you do what you do rotating condition was rotating unbalanced okay so this response you can find out by using this equation small x x sign of omega t minus phi so this is the equation to find out this response from this equation we can find out but in this case the what we have to ask the response means we have to find out the x okay how to find out this x amplitude by using this formula x is equal to x upon m o e by capital m which is equal to r square upon under root of 1 minus r square bracket square plus twice zeta r square under root and this is the bracket square so in this case we don't know the values here we have to find out the x okay what we have to find out we have to find out here x and this mo m capital m is given r we don't know to find out these values the r is equal to what r we can find out by omega by omega n omega we know omega n we don't know how to find out the omega n to find out the omega n which is equal to under root of k by m m for this system m is given we know the value of m is 125 k we don't know so as this k nothing but the this uh, cantilever beam this is the k for the k for this cantilever beam we have to find out how to find out this that formula by using this p upon okay, okay. The deflection this deflection for this cantilever beam for the square dimension is given to you length that I will write the formula p l q by 3 e i from this we can find out this k p upon del this p upon p l q upon 3 e i 3 e i that means what k is equal to right from this 3 e i upon l q the real value of l is given to us we know to us that l is 0.8 meter in this 80 centimeter okay so if we put these values here what will get value of k is 5.27 10 to 6 newton per meter now next step we'll do we'll go for the k once we got the value of k this k we know we can find out the value of omega how to find the omega omega n we have to find out omega already we are calculated omega we can find out by using this k by m under root of k by m we know the value of k we know the value of m the system 5.27 into 10 to 6 upon 125 then omega n becomes using this calculator we will write 2.50396 radian per second this is the value for omega n now once you find out the omega n, you can find out the value of r. 
R now you can find out omega by omega n. So R becomes 209.44. Already we have calculated the value of omega by using this 2000 RPM. Okay. And this 205.0396 which is equal to 1.02. This is the value of R. Okay. Now next step, what we have to find out? First we got the value of R here. Okay. So we have to find out the final our AM destination is find out the X. But in that formula, see here, this is the formula for the X. This amplitude we can find out by using this formula x upon moe by m r square upon this under root of 1 minus r square bracket square plus 2 zeta r bracket square r we know in this case this calculator m o e we know m no but zeta we don't know to calculate this zeta damping ratio we'll see how to find and find out the value of zeta yeah the zeta we can find out value of this x1 by x2 ratio is given to us 2.5 okay logarithmic decrement by using this logarithmic decrement delta this is equal to 1 by n log to the base x1 by x2 okay 2 pi zeta upon under root of 1 minus zeta square. So this is the formula for this logarithmic decrement. Logarithmic decrement. Okay. So delta. So this delta, this n is in this case only one cycle. X1 by x2 is 2.5. So we can write like this 2.5 is equal to 2 into 5 zeta upon root of 1 minus theta square squaring on both sides, both the side you can write like this also ln 2.5 so the back end the root of 1 minus theta square 2 pi theta in this just solving this one what will that just squaring on both the side 1 minus zeta square is equal to 6.86 zeta square. Lastly, what will happen? This will write here 1 minus zeta square is equal to 47.2 zeta square. So, this 48.2 zeta square is equal to 1 zeta now become 0 0.144. This is the damping ratio. Is a damping ratio for this system 0.144. Once we know the value of damping ratio, we can find out the by using this numerical the value of the this uh, formula for the x. So what we have to find out? The x we have to find out by using this formula. In this case, x upon MOE. MOE already known to us for this system. MOE is 0 0.25 upon 125 which is equal to this R square. R square already we have calculated here. That is the value of R 1.02. The value of 1.02 square upon under root of 1 minus 1.02 is square bracket square plus twice zeta zeta already just we calculated the value of zeta is 0 0.144 into 1.02 and this extend back square the square root okay after solving this value of this x right here value of x is 7.02 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter now again we have to right in terms of the millimeter 7.02 so friend this is the response of this system 
What is this? This is the response for the system is 7.02 for this condition. Here is the rotating condition. So friend, for more and more updated video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for watching my video.